Good day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph and today I'm here with Kimberly and we're going to minister over 10 people. If you would also like to receive ministry in this format, just write your name in the comments. The first person I want to minister to is Sandisu. Sandisu, the Lord is showing to me how He is breaking the drought and how He is giving blessing upon your life. And so there was a generational curse of drought and of lack and of failure. And the Lord says, through my blood, through the name of Jesus, through the word of God that's growing in you, and even through you willing to say to the Lord, I'm going to be obedient to you and walk in righteousness. I see how the Lord breaks those curses and how you, He sets you as a pioneer in your family to be, begin a cycle of blessing, a cycle of position and authority and a cycle of joy. God bless you, Sunday Sue. Thanks for this for Lizette. Lizette, the Lord shows me how how your response is, is going to change, how, how your heart posture is going to, to change, how you react to something. The Lord shows me how He's going to help you to respond in, in, in a way that is in a way that is like most effective but most most godly way. And I just see how you are into your everyday life. T taking what the Lord has taught you. The Lord says, apply my word, apply my word, apply my word, and see how it just starts to manifest in your life and in your family's life, that they start to apply it as well, because you are an example. Be blessed. Okay, Lizette, uh, the Lord loves you. Uh, the Lord is just bringing a separation between your past and even people of the past. And I just see a curtain being uh, 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 brought in between and how you just stay this side of the curtain and that's the, the new side, the front side, the side of the, the, the new thing that God is doing in your life. God bless you, Lizette. Okay, Kaylin. Okay, uh, Kaylin, what the Lord is showing to me is how He is r raising you up as a leader in a church, how he's putting an anointing on you and I see you ministering to young people uh, but also then to the whole church, how the prophetic flow of God comes out of you, how there's anointing for healing and I felt that the Lord says 50% teaching, 50% word and motivation and then 50%, the other 50% is flowing with the anointing of God and the Lord says People are going to know you because they're going to say, that's the anointed of the Lord. Look at that one. They put their hands on the sick and they recover. I've been prayed by that one. I've been prophesied to by that one. And that's where the anointing flow. And the Lord says, I've called you to be a vessel for my anointing to flow out of you. God bless you. Amen. This next word is for Anthony. Anthony, the Lord shows me how, how there's just going to be massive increase in your life. And the Lord um, says, don't worry about how it looks like. If it doesn't look like how you think it is, or it's not coming from the source that you thought it was going to come, have patience and have faith in the Lord that that increase will come and it will be in the right place at the right time, right when you need it, and coming from the right source. So the Lord shows me how, don't set your expectation on where it's coming from or how much it's going to be the increase in, in whatever place. Set your mind on what the Lord wants and, and even just, just just set your eyes on him in general and just see how it just starts to overflow into your life. Be blessed. Okay. Awesome. Uh, Anthony, God bless you. Uh, Anthony, there is a strong kingly anointing on your life. And so just rise up. Uh, do not fear. Uh, even when you fail a few times, don't do, uh, worry about it. The Lord will every time give you a second chance and allow you to rise up. I think they said, talked about uh, Henry Ford, how many times he failed in business and then he, he built that fork fourth car and he was of course very successful and I felt that the Lord says do not look at your failures because I have success in the pipeline for you God bless you all right so the next person I want to minister to is Willem all right Willem the Lord shows me a, a, a big gear that's you and then a small gear uh, that's someone else and you know if you have a big gear and a big gear turns a small gear a small gear will go very very fast and the big gear will go a little bit slower and I felt that the Lord says there's a relationship in your life where the person just wanted to go too fast and wanted too much and you had to do all of the the, the heavy work and that one just wanted to um, get from you okay it's just an uneven relationship and then the Lord shows me how the small gear is removed and how these two gears the same size and they're working together and now suddenly these two they're the same size they go at the same speed they are in sync with God in sync with one another they love each other uh, they want the best for one another and they are a, a great partnership and now you walk into uh, your kingly anointing into that business anointing uh, even into impacting the, the nation uh, and 
the, the government. And I just see how the Lord is positioning you in the right relationship. And then that uh, relationship is strong enough to have big impact. And so the scripture says, one can put a thousand to flight and two ten thousand. And I felt that's what the Lord is doing in your life. God bless you. And this next word is for The Lord says that you shouldn't be um, afraid to share your relationship with the Lord with people that are really close to you, especially like family members that are younger than you. That the Lord shows me how you need to start raising them up. And if um, and if they don't hear it from you, they probably won't hear it at all. I hear the word saying just just. There's, there's like things that we keep between us and the Lord, but most of them, especially with our, with our family, with our with our people that are really close, people that are that are not so so mature in 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 the Lord, that still need to grow, that the Lord has placed on your heart to share with them and just encourage them and invite them into that space with you in the Lord to 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 to, to um to raise them up and to teach them. Yes, uh, Rita, uh, I just want to agree. The Lord is taking you out of a position where you say, I need something, into a position that you say, I have something to give, or something that I can minister, uh, I have the giftings and the talents of God, and they can, that can flow out of my life. And the Lord says, as you gift, it will be given back to you, pressed down, shaken together, rolling over, uh, uh, running over. And so that's what the Lord will do in your life. Okay, God bless you, Rita. So the next word is, for Saraj. Saraj, the Lord is showing to me how He uh, is putting you in the right place at the right time uh, to minister to people, uh, but also to receive the blessing of God. And so the Lord reminds me of John chapter 4 uh, with the women at the well and how Jesus came there and He's spoken to that woman's life and that ended up changing the whole city. And I see how you in business situations where the Lord bless you but you get that opportunity where you can speak into someone's life. And then I saw a bit like a public swimming pool. And now you were there and you were talking to people. And again, you were sharing the gospel and doors were also opening. And so I see two things happening every time you go. The Lord says, the one is I'm opening up doors of blessing to you. And the second thing is I'm using you as an evangelist with the anointing of God to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so the Lord is going to use you in a mighty way. God bless you. And Antonio, the Lord shows me an awakening and the Lord shows me a, a fire that is burning. And I see how you are taking this this um, this stick thingy, this torch, and you are setting it in the fire and you are taking it with you. The Lord, like that shows me how those special times that you have had with the Lord that you felt the anointing was so, so strong. The Lord shows me how you take that same anointing and you carry it with you. So wherever you go, there is that fire, there is that anointing, there is that power because you choose to i'm not just going to leave this as an amazing moment in time i'm going to carry it on i'm going to take it with me and i'm going to let it spread be blessed all right tonya god loves you uh, i just see how the lord lengthened time for you he stretches the dough and the oil and the finances and even your emotional strength the lord is just increasing your capacity god bless you tonya all right so despo uh, the lord uh, has called you even from a young age uh, to to be in his service and to be used to by him uh, and the Lord showed me just like uh, David when he was a young shepherd how he killed the lion and the bear and so the Lord says you have had big victories and overcomings in your life uh, but the Lord says now it's time to face Goliath and not only bring a change to your family but to bring the blessing of God even to your city and to the people around you and so the words that you're going to speak is going have an effect on many people and the Lord is giving you authority is giving you an anointing and a, in, and a position to function and you know when David overcame Goliath his family didn't have a quarrel with Goliath it was the nation of Israel but he still was able uh, to step onto that that the national stage killed Goliath and then one day he became king and I just felt that the Lord is also opening up a platform for you where you're going to step step onto a national stage and now the Lord is going to open up doors for you. God bless you. Amen. The thanks for this for Marta. Marta, the Lord shows me how you are building a house and, and, and I hear the I, what, sorry, I hear the Lord saying that He wants you to build Him a home, build Him a place that you allow His His Word to to be free to just to, just to spread. And the Lord even shows me how even in your physical home that you just take Scripture and you put it on the walls, and so that, and so like your your children or your family or whoever they'll see it, like they'll know. 
If the Lord chose me, you must just pray a, a blessing over your home because I really see how amazing things are going to overflow from, from inside the home. And I see how we how people, like you hear these stories of, of these amazing miracles that happen inside of people's homes just because they allowed the Holy Spirit to work in them. They allowed space for God. They made space. They made time because you can very easily live a Christian life and, and not invite the Holy Spirit into special moments. I hear the Lord say, Saying exactly that. Invite the Holy Spirit and see how, how He wants to move throughout your day. Be blessed. Hello, uh, Marta, the Lord is with you and He is really strengthening you even in this day. I see how the Lord is putting His hand upon you and how healing, restoration, strengthening, refreshment and the recovering is coming to your life. All right. God bless you. Family, it was wonderful for me and Kimberly to minister to you. If you would like to receive ministry in this same format, just write your name uh, in the the um, comments and I'd love to minister to you remember also we are going live on Mondays and on Fridays Mondays is six o'clock South African time and Fridays is half past seven South African time we love and appreciate you God bless you thank you for joining unity with heaven remember to subscribe like comment and join our newsletter if you want to support us please click on the PayPal link May God bless you abundantly. Remember, you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.